Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for our 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. As always, just a like button, it's all I'm asking. Or actually, hold on a second. If you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So every little thing I do create on this channel, including the calls and the videos, I post them completely free. And not just in your random videos, it's actually requests and questions from people. People that have issues with their Shopify store, they ask, they ask me and I make a video for them. So it's a win-win situation. But you're, it's your decision. I let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button as I said if this video helped you out. If it didn't, just drop me a comment as I said. I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again back with another requested video as always. Which is how to add the maximum order quantity rule on your Shopify store. Which means like the maximum amount of uh, product they can buy at once and i did made i did made a video on how to set the minimum quantity rule and i got a question in a comment how to do that for the maximum i mean the opposite which is setting a maximum order quantity rule so the customer can, cannot buy like uh, over three copies or four copies of the same product in this video i will show you how to do that and it's very unique trick without using any apps and without using any codes or actually we will we will use a one line of code i promise it's actually one line of code that will do the trick for us no need for apps no need for anything like that because apps can slow down the shopify store and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is the shopify dashboard and they have here down team which is the one i do demonstrations on so every video i do create i do demonstration in the video on down team because it's the most used one also is the most requested one from people but if i scroll down in here i have every other free shopify teams which is the most used ones again refresh spotlight taste sense and trade and if you are wondering why is that because i do actually try my codes behind the scenes on all of these teams so i make sure that even if you're not using down team you're using one of these it should work for you just fine and i do that behind the scenes so i don't bore people in the video because it's gonna be like half hour video to do the, the code on all of these teams and i just have to say this in the beginning so i give you the peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team you might be thinking oh maybe it's not working for the others no, it is. And here is your peace of mind. And without the way, let's just get to it. Show you how to set or add the maximum quantity order rule on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every little thing, just a disclaimer, every little thing that you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything. So if you saw anything here that you liked and you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here on the, on the Shopify store, that means it's already done in one of my previous videos. I don't remove the changes from here. I keep them so people can see them. So let me add some product from here. Oh yeah, check out how many things here. So uh, this widget that shows random people are viewing this product right now and by using our own custom code, not an app or something like that. Make sure to check out the channel as I said. And many more, not just these. I can't mention them all. And you can see them on the screen right now. So I'll let, I'll let you figure. So let me add this product to the card first. So right now I can add as many product, as many quantity I want of this product. As you can see. So what if I want to set a rule? So only like let's just say two, two copies. So the maximum you can buy are two copies of the same product. You cannot buy more than two. That's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's just keep it as one. We will do the trick and come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you, if you are on the Shopify dashboard, click on online store teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. And after that, it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something. Use the search bar at the top left corner and type in main dash cart dash items. Just like you see on the screen right now, and you can see it in front of me right now. So main dash card dash items and hit enter and you will see a main dash card dash items dot liquid. Click on it, 
bunch of code will show up. And then here we need to find again a specific section on this call. And instead of looking at the code like this, you might get dizzy again. So we will use a trick which is click on the code just like you want to write something. Then if you are Windows, use the keys on your keyboard, which is Control F if you are Windows. I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. This prompt will help us find the section that we need. And that section is data dash cards dash quantity. Just like you see on the screen right now. Data dash card dash quantity. And after that, simply hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. It did highlight it on the code for us and that's exactly what we need. So now let me close this prompt right here. So in here, we need to do a very small modification in order to set the rule. And no worries, it's not something complicated. Let me zoom in on it so you can see. So this is the section that we did find, which is data dash card dash quantity. Below it, there is min zero. Below it again, there is data main variable. And below it, there is this F, as you can see. So this is really clear here. You don't have to be confused. Below data dash min, there is a percenter sign and F. Select this percenter sign and F, select the whole line. Not just that, select the whole line, this line that you see on the screen right now, and remove it. That was simple. Now, what you need to do is scroll down the description box and you will see a link, name it as code, click on it, and it will take you to this page with this line. As I said, I did a line, so it's one line of code. Select this line of code, right click, copy, and get back in here and paste it in the line that we did remove. That's really important, which is below data dash min. So let me paste it in here. Now we good. So below the line that we did add, there is this max as you can see, right? So max uh, equals, and there is this quote and between it, there is this code. Select this code again between the two quotes. Do not remove the quotes, the red, qu the red quotes, keep them. The thing between the quotes, simply remove it like this. And now what you need to do is type in the maximum order quantity rule that you want to set. As I said, I want to set two. So the maximum are two products of the same variant that people can buy or the same product, sorry, that people can buy. So I'm going to type in here too. If you want to set the maximum rule is true, uh, three, sorry, or four or five, type in here the number you want. So after that, one last thing you need to do is remove the thing below it, which is end F, this line. As you can see, it's already highlighted in red. Make sure to remove it. Now it's clear, right? Even if you confuse something, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help. Now, let's just click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. It's save it. We will get back in here, reload the page and see. You saw me at first, I can add as many as I want. Let's see now. Oh. As you can see, I can't anymore. It shows like the, the stop sign. I cannot add anymore. I'm clicking. I cannot add two as the maximum. And if I change this again to three, I'll just click on save. And we get back in here, reload the page. Now I can add three, but that's it. Only three, as you can see. And that's how you set or add the maximum order quantity rule on your Shopify store by using your own code as always, no apps needed. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.